Minister of State Joseph Harmon has reiterated that President David Granger did not act unilaterally or unconstitutionally with his selection of retired Justice James Patterson to head the country's Elections Commission. Zanil Williams tells us more. Minister of State Joseph Harmon, in his address to Ansgrove residents and surrounding communities, explained the Constitution's provision of a framework within which President David Granger has acted. This, he noted, does not seem to be enough for the opposition and opposition-aligned organizations. In addition to that, he has gone beyond what any former president has done sure, sure. to describe the characteristics yeah. or what he understands to be meant by fit and proper. Further, the Minister of State added that the opposition People's Progressive Party orchestrated the situation, which it now decries, by hanging Dr. Steve Serge Bali out of office. They're saying that Oh, Grange acted unilaterally. He acted undemocratically. Now, how could you say that? I have said to you, this is what the Constitution requires. I have described the characteristics of fit and proper. I have taken into consideration a judgment of the High Court given by the Chief Justice, and I have listed all of these things. And I'm saying now I'm acting in accordance with all of that and in accordance to what I believe is right for the people of this country. And therefore, Mr. Granger said, Brigadier Granger said, I will not put on hold any longer the business of this country just because one person don't like it. Mr. Jagdeo has to understand he is not the president of Guyana. On October 17th, retired Justice James Patterson was sworn in as chairman of the Ghana Elections Commission by President David Granger following consideration and rejection of three lists of nominees submitted by the opposition leader Barrett Jagdeo. The opposition has since then declared a policy of non-cooperation with government. Zanil Williams reporting for InfoHub.